normal orders. There's not that many left, really. Um, so at 7 o'clock, I will close the store, giving people opportunities. Smithilplix with the five gifted subs right off the bat. Thank you so much uh, for your generosity. Um, and uh, we always appreciate you being here, being a part of our community. Um, but yeah, we... Uh, I love this track. Um, if you had uh, purchased one and haven't gotten yours signed yet, um, it will be signed today. Uh, this is the last day that I will be doing any signings uh, on Twitch. Otherwise, it will be in, um, you know, in, at a con or in person or something like that. Um, or the next signing, which, God, who knows when that's going to be. I just do it whenever the rest of the cast does it. Um, and then if you do want to order one, you can still do that until 7 p.m. Pacific, which is in about uh, two and a half-ish hours. Um, and it will be signed tonight. There will be um, nothing left unsigned um, after the end of this stream. So if you want to order one, there's still time, a couple hours. Um, but yeah, I think we should get started. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Miss Valkyrie. Well, I hope that you um, have fi find something to feel good about your day. You know, it's um, I think that we all have days like that and. Um, if you ever need any cheering up, let us know. All right, let's get right to it. We got an 8x10 uh, morning for Michael, one of our VIP purchases. And that was um, purchased today, this morning. So I hope that they're here, but they might not be. Um, but I did want to you know, start off with the VIPs. Um, they had some very specific instructions. Let's see. Uh, I will do gold for um, this one. And um, yeah, they, they wanted a, a meaningful quote that goes with the tone of it. And you know, we have a, a pretty standard line for this one. Let me pull it out there. Because um, the um, hangout has obviously a, a very appropriate line. Also, I hope that some of y'all, you know, I know many of my followers know Grace, but Grace did the Goro hangout last night. We got to raid her after I completed mine, and it was a blast to see that uh, from her perspective and whatnot. Um, Smitzelplick said, gotta celebrate Corey making it through the first batch of signings. Hopefully there will be more opportunities that aren't quite hard to come by for signings, and hopefully they're not too hard. Yep, there you go. That That's exactly what I <laughs> said. I jumped the gun. I'm sorry. Um, but thank you. I appreciate that. Um, very much. Um, and I will hydrate. Water. All right. Um, this is to Michael. Side. I think I like the right side still, just because the way that the tail goes, it doesn't kind of kind of cuts off some of that other space. Um, keep it small though. Let's see. All right. Double-checking spelling. Um, yeah, I kind of don't love this placement that I already chose. <laughs> already screwing up. Um, I might, I might redo it. We'll see.
Love this quote, very simple. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna redo this one. I think that uh I think I just need to put make one change to it. And yeah. Uh, this is for, uh, Michael, our, uh, VIP print number 140, which I will write on the back, but, um, to Michael, let me mourn them for just a little while longer. Um, thank you so much for your order. I love this print. I'm glad that you were able to get one in, um, before the signing ended. Yeah, no back seating. Don't tell me how to sign. Don't tell me how to sign, how dare you? How dare you do that? All right. No spoilers. I just I just leave the tags up because I don't want to remove them, but it's like, you know what? No one cares about those anyway. <laughs> They're gonna do what they want to do. Like those tags are largely irrelevant. <laughs> Do do do. All right, that is the end of our VIP orders. Uh, Trixie's has not been signed yet, so we will skip over that one for now. Um, moving on to this one. This is any three Goro prints. Um, there is no one to make it out to in particular, but there are a couple, um, a couple different instructions. So, uh, hot dog, morning, and cultural exchange. Uh, cultural exchange, the mean. Do, 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 do. Um, uh, Stardust, I saw yours. Yours is very soon. Um, so I could sign yours right now if you'd want. Yours is like, yours is this 124 one. It's right here. So like, if you're ready, then I can sign it now. Or if you are going to go and come back, then I can sign it later. So you let me know because there everything's going to be done today. So I want to make sure that if you are here and if it's like really close, then I just do it for you so you can see it. You know, I don't want you to miss out on it because of some you know, arbitrary list. Uh, so let me know, um, and I will try to do my best for you to, to make sure that you are here and that you can see it. Um, so yeah, let, let me or the mods know what you would like me to do, because um, I could just skip right over to it right now and then just back right up, because I, I don't think that this person is here for um, order P3895815484. Because um, they, they didn't even put a... <laughs> A person to make it out to so um yeah i'd rather prioritize people who are here sign yours now okay great let's let's do yours now then um let me just pull these out for this person for after that because i am holding it all right um so let me skip right down real quick to 124. This is for Ting. Um, let's see. 
Uh, you wrote this wonderful message. Hi, Corey. Thank you for bringing Goro to life. Keep up the great work. For the three prints, uh, Cultural Exchange Lumine. I'm loving how many Lumine people we have. This is great. Oh, no, no. I totally get that. I totally get that. This is why it's great, because you're here, so you can clarify anything if there are any questions. Favorite voice line and a cake doodle. Um, morning. Um, which I have one ready to go right here. That's the next. Um, and then hot dog, keep your weapon at the ready. Nice. Great, great, great. Easy peasy. All 11 by 17. And thank you also for getting a bundle. I know, you know, it can be a little, a little crazy with the way that Streamly has their costs and shipping and all that. So I appreciate you getting, getting the whole package. Uh, can you eat prints? Uh, yeah, you can. I don't, I don't even know if you want to, but you can. Mm. Oh, thank you, Flappy Bats. I, I, I appreciate that as well. Uh, we will try to... <laughs> yeah, the, hot dog, the hot dog name is thanks to our wonderful official Grace, uh, who is the uh, Anemo Archon, as she is called, uh, because she comes up with all sorts of ridiculous names for things, and that's what... That's just one small part of what makes Grace great. Um, all right, so uh, the first one for Ting, or for Stardust, uh, is um, the cultural exchange with a favorite voice line. I will write one that's appropriate for this. Did you want gold or silver? I think, actually, they both show up pretty well. Um, I'm, I'm gonna generally recommend silver for this one, but I think they're both good. So I, I, I don't think there's a wrong answer either way. Um, so just because you know there, it's a little bit more more browns and and goldish colors, but ultimately they both do look good. Okay, silver it is. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna do the upper left corner on this one, uh, and let me make sure that I have a voice line prepared. Um, I really I really like the combo of the the hangout ending for this one. Um, that's related but not exactly the same. All right. All right, and you were looking to also have um, a uh, cake doodle, so I will, oh God, I'm sorry in advance. Um, and thank you, uh, Solom, for saying that. Uh, it's, uh, I, I, I really appreciate you, you checking out the Hangout because, you know, it's not, it's not required stuff. And, um, but it is, it is really awesome. And I'm, I'm so thankful for the kind words. I appreciate that. All right, let's see if I can draw a cake and not, it not be terrible. Um, no promises. <laughs> okay. Okay, that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Okay. Yunjins and Ningguangs. I love Ningguangs. I haven't done Ning, uh, I haven't done Yunjins yet, but Ningguangs I freaking love. That's the only other one that I've played in its entirety. I already made this look terrible. I'm so sorry. 
And hello and welcome to everyone coming in. Uh, this is the first of three prints for Ting, um, also known as Stardust in our chat. Um, to Ting, desserts are the best, and so is being happy. And there's a little cake with, like, sparklies, and like, yay. <laughs> so, that's the first one. Uh, the Genshin piano covers are by Chewy. Thank you, Dead Gals, for posting that. Um, you can check them out on their Twitch there. Uh, you can also listen to them on Apple Music or Spotify, whatever your your um, you know, streaming choice is. Uh, they're available everywhere. They're freaking great. I, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right. Um, any line for more? Let me do this in the order that you had, you'd set it here. Um, okay. Morning, I will do the gold, I think. It's a really nice standout one. Um, without being too crazy. They're, they're both good, but yeah. Um, I will write a any line. So let me get one of those ready. MySpace, heck yeah. That's where, that's where, that's where you get music, right? <laughs> Dude, MySpace music was, they were really trying to be a thing. And it just didn't work. <laughs> Facebook annihilated them. Which is too bad, because Facebook sucks. My signature, I am not ashamed of my signature anymore. <laughs> and I'm really thankful for that. It's not completely terrible anymore. Um, it's going well. Played some Ghostwire. Oh, you got the water. I love, I used, at first I was like, nah, oh, the water skill is stinky. And then I was like, oh wait, no, it's amazing. It is amazing. Oh, oh, uh, yes, uh, you did mention that. Uh, I'm sorry, hold on a second. Mm. Um, yeah, no, I, at first I didn't like it because it was short range, and then I was like, no, this is the best. <laughs> They're all melee anyway. I can use this. Um, yes, I apologize, Michael. Um, write Goro where I signed. Alright. Um, and I bet, I bet I didn't write totally didn't write the order number on the back of this one either um but the one for michael um uh, right here um there it says Goro next to it now and we are good um <laughs> watching re-watching to eternity oh i love that I, I i'm so proud of that project i just absolutely loved it and i i hope that i get to come back for it All right, let me um, make sure I write the, uh, yeah, of course. Sorry, that was my mistake. I, I, I even, I read it and then I just forgot. <laughs> so that's on me. All right, 
this one, this one's just the, the last one I signed for um, Ting. Oh, Sean just finished. Nice. That's awesome. Sean's, I'm sure Sean's got a bunch of cool stuff too. Alright, so this is the second one for Ting. It says, let me mourn them for just a little while longer. Um, which is always fun. I think that the gold actually looks really good. It's actually pretty subtle um, in a good way, you know, on this one. But it's definitely visible. And I, I love this print. I absolutely love this print. Alright, last one. Of course, the tried and true hot dog. Um, let me double check. Keep your weapon at the ready. You never know what's around the corner. All right, we're gonna sign on his knee as we usually do. Uh, I'm gonna do the gold here. Open new pens today, by the way, and they write great. Weapon at the ready. turning on thank goodness a very much necessity in socal um all right here's the last one for ting keep your weapon at the ready you never know what's around the corner and there you go thank you so much i will write your order number on the back make sure you get it and i'm really glad that you were able to to catch it uh even though you're going out soon so thank you for for saying something um, if anyone is here who has a print that they, um, are wanting to be signed right now, feel free to say something. Uh, I am going to generally go in order, but if someone's here, I can, I can cover you, um, right now, uh, just so people can, you know, cause everyone's is going to get signed today. So <laughs> if people aren't here, then there's no reason for me to prioritize them over people who are here. So if you are here and you, you purchased one. Uh, and you have not seen it get signed or you don't know if it's signed yet, then, um, yeah. Now's the time to say the thing. All right, let me put these on the thing. I don't think that I did the I'm live on Streamly right now thing. Um... Um, okay, great. All right, I will back up to uh, the other ones. Uh, unless, if, again, if someone is here right now uh, and you haven't had yours signed yet uh, and you would like to see it signed, please say like, oh, I'm here. I would love to do it. Um, cause I would love to prioritize people who are here, uh, since this is absolutely everyone. There's not, there's no real reason to, to go in order if, uh, people aren't there to see it. Um, right. But otherwise I will continue with this one. This is, uh, for order. Oh yes, please uh, have fun with what you were going to do. And, um, thank you for, thank you for getting those. Can't wait for you to see them. Goro merch. I know we, we do, we love our Goro merch here. There's not a lot of Goro merch out there, to be frank, so, like, it's cool to see it. And have a great day, and, yeah, we will keep going. Um, we're 120. 
So this is another bundle, which is pretty sweet. Um, it's these three that were chosen. Hot dog, uh, hot dog, morning, and the cultural exchange, Lumine, naturally. Hello there, Featherstark, welcome. Um, so we'll start with this one. Um, surrender is not an option for hot dog. Okay, got it. Uh, it wasn't made out to anyone, so I will not. Surrender is not an option. Surrender is a valid option. It's not. It's not an option, child. <laughs> I like how how Jazz has just clicked into complete. She uh, like switched from complete denial to like no. I am now in the child cult again. <laughs> um, all right, so surrender is not an option on hot dog. There we go. Uh, there it is. Surrender is not an option. And I will write that. <laughs> he crits now. I swear he's changed. Mm-hmm. Right. Of course. That's, sure, whatever you say, man. I've changed him. It was, it was what I did. It, now that, now that I love him, he, he finally respects me. I'm sure we've all heard this one before. <laughs> all right. Um, so that's the first one. Let that dry for a moment. Now let's take a look at morning. <laughs> Can make him worse? I don't know. I mean, he's pretty bad already. <sighs> All right, and this one is the morning where um, this is this is proof that they once lived. What a lovely, what a lovely thing. That's great. I love that. Thank you for choosing that. Um, That's a great quote. This is proof. This is proof that they once lived. Great choice. Love it. Um, writing the order number on the back. Flappy Bats is just all in. <laughs> I don't even want to change him. I want him to change me. Ooh. Um, all right. Great. That's our second one. And our third one. Oh, you're welcome. I'm, I'm glad to hear that, though, Miss Valkitty. I think it's important for us to remember, you know, there's, there's always... There's always going to be bad days, and that does happen, but... There's also lots of good things to look at, too, and hopefully we can remember that those almost always outweigh the bad. Um, I think it's really easy to focus on the negative, you know? I'm not saying that's an us problem, but I think that people are very prone to that. I am, myself, certainly. Um, so, it's a thing. Um, all right, last one is for, uh, for the same person, Cultural Exchange. Um, they wanted me to draw a whale on the last print. So... I, I guess I'll try to find a picture of a whale. Boo -doo -doo -doo. 
I'm gonna draw my favorite whale, if possible. Um, no, I mean, they didn't specify any specific type of whale, so I'm gonna try to draw my favorite whale. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that. That was something. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do my best here. Um, I am pulling this off of the um, encyclopedia. My favorite whale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be tough, but I'm gonna try my best here. Okay. Perspective is hard. than it should have been. Which kind of makes it a little more scary, but that's fine. Okay, how do I draw this tail? Weird tail, that's fine. This is uh this is a blue whale, I guess. Um so <laughs> it's very strange and I don't really know why that's a thing. Um so yeah. That's that's there. That's the that it's got baleen. It has baleen. I don't really know what that is. And thank you also for dealing with that very quickly. Clearly that was a uh, bad a bad actor. Um, is it happy? I mean, sure. It's rich. 
I never said that I could, so, you know. Man, are we getting are we getting some we getting some some people right now? Getting some stuff that's going on. Maybe I finally hit the big time here. Yeah, who knows? All right. So that is the last one of those three. And we are gonna add that to the pile. Make sure that all of our things are here. Yeah, everyone's is set. So I know we. I, you know, I've never gotten. I've never gotten racist comments before on Twitch. So that's cool. Which is actually kind of a miracle that it hasn't happened. Let's see what keeps happening. I wonder if Seribot's on on right now. Hopefully it is. If not, then we'll... We've been kind of relying a little bit on, on Seribot for stuff. Anyway, this next one is for SUNY. So, uh, if that is you, please let me know. Um, and again, if anyone is here who does have a print that they are waiting to be signed, please let me know and I will try to prioritize you over people who are not here. Uh, this is an ether. Uh, that's Lamine. What the heck? Where did that Lamine come from? <laughs> I thought like, my bottom of the pile was supposed to be ether. There it is. You can curse in chat. You can do whatever you want. Um, all right, so this is for SUNY, and they said, if it's possible, doodle a small stick figure Goro on the side. Okay. I will try my best, SUNY, and I'm so sorry in advance. Oh, auto, oh, auto mod might be set to, yeah, I guess I got auto mod set. All right, sorry, no, you can't. Um, I'll do silver again on this one. They want a fluff and co. <laughs> That's right. We have we still have the term fluffin. All right. Let's see if I can do a, a Goro. That's not terrible. Um, I gotta really find the basics. Try to find that. Yuck, those guys? Nice. Where did you learn the term yuck, those guys? Is that from Goofy? <laughs> like that? Or like a different yuck? Let's Everyone's look. <laughs> I mean, technically, I'm the person who put that that censorship there, so I, mean, I don't know why everyone wants to cuss now. But Doo -doo -doo. yeah, just become goofy. Gorge. <laughs> yep. Mm. 
<laughs> Silver, you were supposed to be a new pen. Why are you like failing me? Okay. All right. So this is. <laughs> Suni had requested a small doodle stick figure Goro. So here it is. Um, to Suni. <laughs> Goro's face, smiley face with the signature and a little bow and arrow. <laughs> Stupid. Um, there it is. So thank you so much, Suni. And I uh, hope that you uh, don't hate it. Let me make sure it dries. Yeah, the I, you know, I have some wonderful artists and, and I wish that I could, you know, commission a gajillion artists, but you know, just, it's a lot. <laughs> Obviously it takes takes a lot of effort to, um, to get everything going and, and whatnot. So um, all right, I'm just gonna make sure I write the order number on this one. Mad Hatter Gal is striking once again? Oh my goodness. Why? <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, let's mark it. This one is complete. Thank you so much, Mad Hatter Gal. Is this? This is not signed. I don't know why this is like separated from the pile. Okay. Bam. Thank you so much. And I hope that you are doing great. Um, yeah, I mean, that's always possible, Mike, Mikey, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Wish I had a good answer for you. Um, I'll, one more reminder, if anyone is here who has a print that they are waiting for, please let me know and I will try to prioritize you over the people who aren't here, otherwise I'll just keep going in order. Uh, eight by 10 of Hot Dog. Hot Dog has been, I think, the highest amount sold because who doesn't want a hot dog in their life um i know i do this is for calem can you doodle goro's little dog companion please you bet you okay let's do our best here for calem Working on MHA project. That's cool. Uh, I'm doing great. Just uh, finishing up the prints today. I, we're, I think we're gonna, you know, we're, well, not. I think I will go until we complete everything. Um, so yeah, pretty excited about that. Do. Pop X gifted a sub. They are paying it forward from the gift sub they got from Sensilplex. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Flappy Bets, I think I saw you actually by name, so I, I, I should be able to grab that, but thank you for putting that in. We'll verify over here and make sure everything's cool. And Zaki, howdy. And Pop Sparkle subscribed on a five-month streak. Thank you so much. 
right. Um, all right. Let's see. All right. Just going to finish this doodle here. Wait, I want to draw that part first. Do, do, do. Right. Oh my god, five more what <laughs> Mad Hatter Cows, why? <laughs> uh, well I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um I uh I your generosity is, is excellent and thank you so much. Um aw, glad to hear that glitter pup. I hope you enjoy your new emotes as well that you got from Smithsplex, and thank you for gifting them forward. Um, Bessie Bear wanted to gift a hundred bits as well. Tim said in a bit from Suschuga. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate that. The Archon of Madness. <laughs> um, it's been a long time since I've watched, watched that. Um, all right. Um, this is for Kalem. We got a little Juga here. Uh, two Kalem. Um, and a signature. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare spend money on me, dead gals. God. Uh, do, do. I'm pissed now, and you haven't even done it yet. <laughs> like, dude. I have, like, y you you were adult, or that young adult who's in college. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. All right, take care. How? Oh, spring rolls, nice. Um, thank you, uh, Dalgona Candy. Is that an is that an ether like lurking in there? <laughs> Arriving, nice. I love it. Um, well, welcome. And uh, yes, we have our one for Kalem done. So thank you so much, Kalem. Um, all right. So uh, since it was mentioned. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Flappy Bats, uh, I think is on our the bottom of our list here, but since you're here, we might as well do it. Might as well knock it out. Um, it's this one right here for Finn. And again, if anyone is here and you bought one or want to purchase one, I can sign it pretty much immediately. I will prioritize people who are here over people who aren't here uh, first. So here's a dark AV hot dog. Get your hot dogs here. Uh, <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, so, this is for Finn, and uh, the special instructions say, can you try to draw Goro's little banner holding bunny? If not, just a paw print and your favorite Goro line. Well, we can do all of those things for you. Um, I'm used to it now. <laughs> But that, that will be my hubris. Clearly. <laughs> Dead gals, I don't know. I don't have to tell you. <laughs> to Finn. All right, let's... um. I, I... Mad Hatter gal is just like going on a... Going on a tear over here. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't, I appreciate it. 
I, I don't I don't know what we've done to deserve such kindness, but I, I do appreciate it. Um This is one of my favorite lines for this particular thing, because there's there's I can't have one single favorite line for it, but uh yeah, the the the, the hype train's coming to the station, man. I was myself. I was myself. Um alright, so let me draw the... I'm going to draw the line and then draw the doodles underneath the line. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, okay. All right, let's see if we can get the the Ziguro pet friend. Um do 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 Oh, he doesn't really have a name. <laughs> so you are not you are not wrong in in how you describe it. He does not have a name as far as we know. There's no canon name other than there's it, it says Juga in his description. I don't know if that means anything, but we don't know his name. So, there you go. Don't feel bad. Uh, dead gals, please don't. I swear to God. Ears are kind of weird, but <laughs> it's fine. Tim gifted a sub to Sarah. Oh, thank you so much. Sarah is one of our regulars and so is Tim. Tim is always bringing the kindness with a bunch of subs. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. The emotes will continue. <laughs> Since you had mentioned his actual flag, I tried my best for you, Finn. I hope this is not terrible. Uh, it is. But to Finn, this is a victory that belongs to the both of us. And there is, of course, the little Juga Pal. Oh, I need to color in his ears a little bit. But he's got the flag behind him and the signature. Hold on a sec. Yeah, I, I love the comfy one. It's very cute. Everything is cute. You've got to go cute. That's the only option, really. Have to go cute. <laughs> there we go. 
I just I just colored in his ears a little bit, so he's got a little more more filling in the ears. But yeah. All right, great. I'm glad you like it. Uh, let me make sure the order number's on the back so you get it correctly. Tatis, yes, please get some rest. Do. Because of this song, I legitimately can't re remember Green Sleeves anymore. <laughs> it's insane. Thank you, everyone, also for the hype train. I hope that you got some cool emotes if you didn't have it already. And um, I appreciate that. Dead uh, for a, I see Gal. Mad Hatter Gal for spearheading the effort. Thank you so much. Um, all right, great. So we got that. And I will set it for drawing purposes. Thank you so much, Flappy Bats. All right. Um, call you Hatter? Okay, I will try to, I'll try to remember that. All right, the next one is for Bun. Um, no, that's okay. It's okay, Dead Gals. Um, next one is for Bun. A uh, small Shiba puppy doodle on an 8x10 hot dog. Um... Please, uh, again, if you are actually uh, mods, if you want to just remind people from time to time, like if you've got, you know, one that you're waiting for, please let me know. I would love to be able to get that for you. For ya. Hmm. Just. They're like a little bit. They're a little bit different. Fascinating. I mean. It's to be honest, I, I call people by their Twitch names very often because it's it's easier for me to remember because it's right there. So, and if you do want to pick up a print, they are still available until seven p.m., which is in about an hour and forty minutes. All right, this one is for Bun, and they want a small Shiba puppy doodle, which means I will have a um, Taramaru as reference. I, that's the best way for me to do it anyway. <laughs> um, okay, let's go with gold again. No dead gals, no. Not that. This one's for Bun. It is a little Taramaru doodle. So I hope that they enjoy it. And thank you so much for ordering. <laughs> Tarumaru. All right. Yes, cutting in line is acceptable today. You will not be, uh, what is it? butter something line cutter? Is it just butter twice? I don't know. But you can do that, and that's totally acceptable if you are here, because not everyone is here. 
So please feel free to do it. You haven't heard that term, eh? It's like, yeah, it's like butter something line cutter. Um, I have not listened to any audiobooks lately. I'm gonna find it now, because you're all questioning me, and this is a real thing. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you're a butter. You're a dirty line cutter. <laughs> I think it was just in South Park once. <laughs> um, okay. That's where I heard it. All right, thank you, Bun, so much for your order. All right, next one is for Jay. Mm. Oh my god. No, sweet cute, don't. <laughs> if you're gonna donate, donate to dead gals. I don't think that there's a way to do that right now, but just donate directly to dead gals and make sure that dead gals can eat food. Um, all right, for Jay, we got 11 by 17. How do you buy Dead Gals a print? That's a good question. But don't worry, I got it covered. <laughs> Just kidding, bro. Oh no. Um, all right, so this one's for Jay. It doesn't have any, um, it's not made out to anyone in particular, so I will sign on the bottom right. Plenty of room. Nice and simple. Uh, you would need someone's address to give them <laughs> a print. Um, but there you go. This one's 2J and uh, just a signature and a paw print with a heart. So, there you go. Yeah, no, this one, honestly, they're all great, but this one really turned out so well. It's it's fantastic. I, I know that many people got the 8x10s, and I hope that that size will work exactly for what you want it for, but the 11x17s are something truly special. Truly fascinating. Um, it turned out fan-freaking-tastically. Writing the order number on the back. All right, great. Thank you so much, Jay. I hope you enjoy your print. Yeah, Dark AV kicked freaking butt. Not only, okay, like, I can't, I can't say enough good things about all my artists, but Dark AV in particular, like, I messaged them and they're like, oh, I would love to do that. And then we were like bouncing around ideas like, okay, well, like Goro needs to look like an awesome legend of fighter. And, but like, what kind of bow do we give him? Cause there's no bow that's like really that exciting to use in the game. Like Favonius bow, like that's so Mondstadt. And like, you know, Elegy's kind of weird and like Skyward Harp's kind of weird for him. So it's like, all right, let's just make one. Let's just make up a bow. <laughs> and and so Dark Ave is like, oh, okay, cool. So like, uh, how about this? And I was like, what, what do you mean? What, how about this? Yes, it's freaking perfect. It's so good. They just made a custom bow for him. And and that was just from Dark Ave's, you know, own creativity. Dark Ave also like added the the background like pups and, and Juga and the moon and, and just the whole composition. It was like, it's so freaking cool. It turned out so well and like beyond what I could even imagine. Um, so like, I, I like to be very detailed with my descriptions and I do, I, I, I take a little bit of credit for, you know, having a vision for what I want to do. But man, every single artist just brought their own ideas and their own creativity. They made it completely theirs and they did such great jobs of just making it completely their own as well. And that's really, that is the mark of, of a wonderful artist to, to be able to be like, you know what? Not only do I want to take your idea and run with it, I'm really going to bring everything I got. And that's the same for voice acting too. You know, like, um, anyone can take a script and read it and, you know, maybe do what's expected as far as just general actors are concerned, but to bring something new that's your own, make the character your own, that's the key 
to it, truly. Um, so, all right, this next one is for Susie. And um, it's, uh, there's no Twitch name or, any, or social media name. So it just says to Susie, so I will do it as such. This is for Susie, and it's just a little heart paw print and a signature. Nothing too fancy, but hey, it's good. Um, thank you so much, Susie. I hope you enjoy your print. Um, and uh, let me just mark down the work number. Sorry to hear that candy, but you know, um, Chi Chi can be used for awesomeness too, at least. Right. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, you know, what's that? I think Sarah, that's one of the reasons why Miss Splitter is so good because it's such an elemental based weapon. And like, oh, is that, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that, that is. <laughs> I don't know memes. Okay, toss that onto the pile. Do, do, do. Here is our um, here is our next one, eight by ten. Uh, it is not to anyone in particular, but it is for Co Cody Taylor on um, on Twitch or Twitter. Maybe I'm not sure. Uh, there's just an at there. Excuse me, my back hurts because I'm an old man. Um, but the request, and I'm sure many of my mods will enjoy this. Um, please write uwu under your name. Thanks, Corey. You're welcome. Um, oh god. What has my life become? Alright, let me sign it. I actually did the lowercase uwu instead of the uppercase uwu. So I did Koryi uwu with the heart and the uh, and the, the paw prints. So uwu is complete. And there you go, Cody Taylor. I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> and let this one dry for a little bit, but we can um, we can do this. order number on the back. You are an Uwu? Oh no. <laughs> what does that even mean? Alright, let's let that one dry as well. But that's done. Thank you, Cody Taylor. Next one is for uh, Shelly Violet, um, who I think I saw in, in chat. Um, they wanted something written on the back, which I would be very happy to do. Get this one ready, actually. Hey, Trixie. Um, all right. Looks like we got, um, 11 by 17, uh, Morning by Coward. I'm, <laughs> fair enough. La you know, Lady Tigers, I've accepted my oldness. Um, I'm reminded of it every day. So, uh, if we can get the, the Streamly Shop link, it is available. Yes, something uplifting on the back. Um, and it is a, a wonderful quote. 
Uh, a great quote. What a lovely moment. Actually, I remember um, seeing that one in the uh, the Hangout recently when Grace, official Grace, was playing it. And um, man, it's it's a good quote. I, I like it. So thank you for, for giving me the opportunity to write it. Do you want your name or the signature on the front? Or would you like everything on the back? Um, and just so you know, the, the order number will be on the back too. So I want to make sure that you're happy with placement on that in particular. Let me know what you want since you're here and we will get that accordingly. A moment for me to rest my old man back. My God. I'm not a young man anymore. Sign on the front uh, with your name on the front and then I will write the quote on the back. I think that's, a, that's an excellent plan. Yeah, it was so fun to watch the, the Hangout. I agree wholeheartedly. I loved it. All right. Ugh. Great. Perfect. Do you want a paw print on the front, too? Or no? It doesn't... I, I, I'm just asking. I'm not, it's not a suggestion. It doesn't always fit the morning mood. Never say no? Okay. Cool, I'll do it. Do a circle for that one. You know, I, I, I really, I like both of those. I, I think those are some of our, our best sellers. You know, they're, they're just, there's a certain there's a certain artistic integrity to them, I think, so I appreciate you taking a look there, um, Candy. Uh, let me just take a minute here for this to dry. I will write very small on the top the order number because I don't want that to distract. That was a burp, I'm sorry. Yeah, definitely morning is not a happy vibe, <laughs> to say the least. Um, just letting that dry a little bit longer. There's like little bits of gold on my desk. <laughs> so that's been kind of interesting to see. Okay, that's looking pretty good now. All right, now we got the quote on the back. Yeah, Gor Goro is is all of those things, you know? I think that's that's why I like having so many different representations of him. And we were really talking about that one um, on Grace's stream last night because she played through all of them and really analyzed all of them, which I freaking love. And... You know, she was saying, like, you know, these ones are really happy and uplifting, even if we didn't do our goal, and these were really funny. And then these ones were really sad from different perspectives. You know, some of it is saying goodbye to someone and maybe not knowing if you're going to have that same relationship if you meet them again. And one of it's just straight up loss, you know, having some level of guilt, you know, for, for those who who were lost in battle. And that's something that Goro has to deal with. And at the same time, he's this young guy who doesn't know how to talk to <laughs> adults. Um, oh yeah, this one's the, this is the one, this is the morning print. This is the 11 by 17 one. Um, and it's, uh, sorry, it's a little hard to see because my mic is in the way, but uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. It's a little dark, I apologize. You might be able to get a little more light on it over here, but it's, it's really cool. Well, that's one. I guess that's one way to go, Sarah. All right, let me write the quote here.
That is very squeaky. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that we got a really, really great opportunity to see Goro's multifaceted side uh, from his hangout. And, and I'm very thankful that, that that's the case. And, you know, I, I think, I, I'll, I, I'll, I'm not going to lie. I often think about, like, man, what, it, I wonder if it would have been cooler for me to play, you know, other characters. Um had things been different? Like, what if I had auditioned for Genshin a long time ago, you know? What if I had a chance to play a character like D. Luke or Kaya and, you know, you never know, like, what could have been. Um, or, or any other character. But, the bottom line is, like, this was the character that I think I was supposed to play. And I am very lucky to have been able to play that, you know? So. I would love to see Goro hang out, too. I would love that. Um, alright, but this one's for Shelly. Um, right here, uh, is the front to Shelly with the signature and the paw print. And on the back, we got the order number very small on the top. And then on the bottom, we've got, we smile when we part so that we may smile when we meet again. A little heart paw print there too. So thank you so much, Shelly. I hope you enjoy your print. I'm going to let this dry for just a little longer. Just <laughs> let them dry for a little longer. Um, perfect. I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, oh god. That could, who knows, Trixie, who knows? Um, I would, I, I would love for my grandma to say what she used to call me as a kid. Um, uh, lucky dog. She used to, she used to say that a lot. Um, <laughs> you lucky dog. So, that's the thing. Um, okay, next one is not made to anyone in particular. Uh, it just says, could you write a quote from Goro, like a motivational one on it? Uh, yeah, let's see if we can find a motivational one. Yeah, just like the artifact set. <laughs> That's true, Paimon did call Goro a lucky dog, and I thought that was so funny. Um... All right, let me try to find, because we had, I found one the other day. I found one the other day, and I don't remember. Hmm. Which one was that? Do, 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 do. Okay, actually, this one, this one will probably work, I think, for this. The key to victory is everyone's united effort, fighting for a common cause. I really like that one, and that's uh, that's exactly what Goro, I think, believes. I mean, he said it himself, so that's, of course, important to him. So I think that's a good little inspirational one. That's going to go on our 8x10 morning from Coward, which is great. Um. <laughs> hey, Skeka. Good morning, uh, Skeka and Trixie. Make sure you stick around after the stream and we can talk about your prince as well. Um, because we are, I'm probably gonna end fairly soon after seven because I really want to make a make sure that we can. I believe, I just want to make sure, I think, um, is she not? She's not live yet? Irie, what are you doing? Did, did anyone see what Irie was doing? Today? Did she... Did she... Oh no, she's postponing it! No! Dang it. Okay, never mind. I, I guess we don't have to worry about that. Uh, Irie was gonna do one today, but she's postponing it till next week. So, uh, we will not be raiding her later. <laughs> Either way, we'll figure out something. Um, everyone go support Ivy. Do it. All right. Anyway, um, we're going to write a promotional, uh, a promotional, motivational, uh, quote. <laughs> Buy a new thing now. Okay. Not made out to anyone in particular.
All right. I love this quote. Oh, thank you so much, Candy. I appreciate that. We'll uh, definitely be able to do it today. Uh, I can probably do it right now, to be honest, just because I don't think that the other people are here. Um, so, yeah, let, let me know your, your order number or if you wrote your name. Oh, I see it at the bottom of the list. Okay, I, it, I, I have it, Dead Gals. Thank you. Uh, it, it says their, their Twitch name, so that's all good. Um, and we can take care of it. Uh, if anyone else is here right now, uh, we only have six more orders. <laughs> so really there's not, not many to take care of at this point. Uh, we'll be hanging out till seven because I did say I was going to close at seven. So I want to give everyone the opportunity to get it. I don't want them to do it just because I closed it early, but yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll probably sign yours next candy just because I don't, I don't think that anyone else is here. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Dalgona. Dalgona, Dalgona, Dalgona. Please tell me which is which. Um, but uh, there we go. This is for um, I don't know who, but it's for someone. Dalgona. Okay, got it. Um, it's the the key to victory is everyone's united effort fighting for a common cause. This one is for someone else, and uh, we will. Ooh. Make sure to write the order number, but thank you so much for ordering. Do... 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 Oh, I cannot say enough good things about the, um, the, I can't say enough good things about <laughs> the Hangout. I really do. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I think that everyone involved did an amazing job. So, um, yeah. All right. Let me skip over to you down here. Uh, Chris Mac Games. I think you also purchased one. To, I thought, I, I think I saw you in chat. If you're still here, I, I can take care of yours too. Uh, let me know. Uh, first, we'll take care of this one. <laughs> doo, doo, doo. Okay, great, Chris. Let me let me take care of um, Dalgona's real quick because I have it, and then I will do yours right after. Um, I think this should be dry by now. Sorry, we're jumping around a little bit, but I want to make sure that people are here to see theirs get signed. That's the uwu one. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. And if y'all, uh, either of you, uh, Dalgona or Chris, have preferences on colors for yours, please let me know. Uh, I recommend the gold, really for both of these uh, are good. The morning print, silver or gold, is really perfectly fine. I think the gold works a little bit better on the... Um, the dark AV, but really they, they are both fine. So, um, yeah. Um, all right, cool. We'll, we'll, we'll stick with gold. It's just a little bit more standout-ish. Oh, you're, you're asking for doodles anyway. That, those, I usually do a specific color with that one, so. Uh, okay, cool. Let me do that one. Uh, and when you say Goro Pet, I assume you are referring to, uh, to this lovely gentleman right here, uh, <laughs> this, this little guy, uh, just, just to make sure, I want to make sure that that is who you are talking about. And, um, uh, and Chris, uh, also for yours, you say, uh, a Goro's banner holder, and I assume you also mean our little friend here. Uh, just to make sure, I want to make sure I'm doing right by both of you. Um, let me know. Uh, and thank you, I got your answer, Dalgona, so I will do that now. I will always, always have a reference. <laughs> hey there, Ripsa. All right. Great. 
great. The little buddy, indeed. Okay, let me try to draw him. Yeah, we call him Juga because it's in the ability name, but I don't know if that's actually his name. I never got confirmation on that. I asked a couple times. We got a real answer. Yeah, I actually haven't watched the special program yet. Um, I don't really care too much about spoilers, but just try to be generally respectful of those who maybe haven't seen it. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I haven't seen it though, to be frank. I'm gonna try to watch it soon, but I haven't had time. Um, all right, thank you so much. This is to Dalgona, right here at the bottom is the name, the Juga, and the signature. Um, thank you so much. Oh, you requested hearts. Hold on. Hold on. Hearts. Here we go. Hearts have been added. It's a friendly Juga. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, and I hope that you enjoy it. Let me add your um, uh, order number to the back. Make sure they get to you properly. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I already have, I bought, um, <laughs> I bought four frames, uh, and they're all 11 by 17s, and I have them. I just, I put the art in them, because I, I love the freaking art, I love it so much, it's, yeah, I think it's good, I don't think that's even like, that's not because they're mine, it's because they're, it's good art. Um, so, I think that just they did such wonderful work every single artist did such wonderful work and i am very very happy hey nushu uh yes use use iris emotes everywhere <laughs> all right um now the other one was for chris mac games here who uh, is chris here um 11 by 17 Hot dog. Do 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 do. do, do, do. Okay. We got ourselves a hot dog. Do, do, do. Oops. Dead gals, dead gals, and the team really gifted a lot of subs. So <laughs> there's a lot of people with ramen bowls now. Um. All right, um, so this one is for Chris. Um, they wanted a picture of Goro's banner holder. 
if that is possible. All right, have a great time at work. Um, which, of course, is the Juga. Um, I will probably draw it in this little corner down here in a few different colors, gold and silver. Ugh, excuse me. Let me draw the Juga first. Or actually, I'll sign, then Juga. Yeah, the ramen bowls are our icons. And this one is to Chris. All right. Um, this one's for Chris here, who's in our Twitch chat right now. There is a Juga uh, with a hat and a signature. Thank you so much. Hot dog is ready for battle. Um, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoy it when it gets to you. And uh, I'll just let it dry for a minute here, but I will also write the order number on the back. Right now. Great. All right, let's uh, get that one dry. I think this is these two dry over here. Thank you so much. All right. Um, if anyone else is here, please feel free to uh, let me know. But we only have three left, so <laughs> can't possibly do too many more at this point. Um, yeah, we're almost done. Getting down to the wire here. Oh my back. Okay. Um, all right, next one is for no one in particular, but it is number 139. 8 by 10. Oh, I had an 8 by 10 ready to go. Silly. Silly me. I guess I'll just sign it. Always like to put a heart around a paw print on these ones just because like I like to give a little bit of something there. Um Get your hot dogs here. Um and so there you go. That is a hot dog with a sign. Um, nothing crazy on that. Uh, let me put the order number on the back.
<laughs> All right, we'll let that one also dry for a bit. Um, check. Oh, getting down to the wire here. Last three. Trixie's is the top one there. Um, after that, though, is Lindsay, who got a Culture Exchange Lumine. Uh, oh, oh my pencil is drying on it over here. There we go. Um, if possible, please write your favorite line or inspirational quote. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, we have a lot of mods. <laughs> they're, they're always very active, too. Like, this is, like, kind of the perfect time, mostly because of time zones. Um, only one of our mods right now is like really more inactive at this particular time, but almost everyone else is able to be here. <laughs> All right. Um, so please write your favorite line or inspirational quote. But they, but they they are they are here to support you. They're here to be welcoming, friendly parts of the community. They are not police. That was part of our our motto for the mods, um, our motto, if you will, except for Gecko apparently. Um, please write your favorite line or inspirational quote. <laughs> Grace! We were just talking about how great you are. <laughs> Welcome, Grace. Our lovely Anemo Archon. Um, I was telling the the chat about our you know your analysis of the Goro hangout and everything and um, how much that meant to me, how much I loved hearing it and whatnot, so thank you for being you. <laughs> just right right off the bat, the Nani, uh, which is hilarious. All right, let's, um, uh, we're going to Lindsay's, okay. Um, all right, let me do that. Oh, I have to. <laughs> I put Lindsay. There needs to be an N in there, Corey. That's a shame. I hate, I mean, I don't like wasting any prints, but I really hate wasting the 11 by 17s. That just makes me sad. Okay, let's take two. Um, Lindsay, I'm so sorry. Um, God, I hope I didn't write any other names wrong, but I, I think I, I, I've been pretty careful about it, or, or recognizing any mistakes that I did make, but for the most part I've been good. Um, Alright, this is to Lindsay. Favorite quote. Uh, for this particular one, I really like I really like the, um, the cake sharing one at the end of the hangout. Gifted subs? Mimorin! Five gifted subs? What? Why are you being generous? <laughs> and I, I, Grace, I was so happy to see you do it. I mean, you already know that, but... Mimo! Thank you so much for gifting five subs. I hope that our new Yemote havers are happy with them. Um, <laughs> there, yeah, there's, uh, you know, it's one of those things. They didn't have any other special instructions. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Mimarin, for being a part of our community as well. My rare short streams? Yeah, I think it actually will be. I, um... I could use some vocal rest and also like, well, originally I was planning to send it to Irie as soon as possible, but since Irie's not doing the subathon today, 
We'll figure something out. We'll figure it out. I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, Grace, the ears. I never commented about the ears, but the ears. <laughs> the way, the way that Grace, depending on her emotional state, specifically made the ears upright or fluked, was that's top tier, top tier right there. Um, all right, but this one is for uh, Lindsay. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to write the order number on the back now. Yeah, peak content, absolutely. One forty-one. Hello. That was kind of night elfy. Ishnuala. All right, thank you so much, Lindsay. We'll save this one to dry. Let me check these for one. Should be dry by now. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, that's good. They're cool, they're good. Order number's on the back, perfect. I have not effed up yet. Okay. Bam. Many feels. Yeah, that was, that was great. That was a great order. Um, thank you, Lindsay. And the last one is for Zelkova Snow on Twitch, also known as Liz. And it just says, happy birthday, Goro. I don't, I assume they're not asking for that to be written. I think they're just saying that. But if you are in here, Zelkova Snow or Liz, please let me know if you wanted something specific. Um, I, it just says happy birthday, Goro, in special instructions. You guys, you guys don't. Do you guys think that it's, <laughs> they mean to write that? Or do you think that that is, I don't know. Um, so hopefully it's fine as is, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one does have order number as well. Great. Mm -hmm. I mean, it does look kind of, it wasn't specifically made for that purpose, but um, they purchased it. No, they purchased it today, actually, like a couple hours ago. <laughs> um, this is the very, one of the very last orders. So uh, yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be written on either. I, I agree. I, that's the vibe I'm getting. I think they, they were just trying to say happy birthday, Goro. So eating strawberries and whipped cream on angel cake. Are you trying to make us all hungry? Or, like, what's going on over there? Um, all right, let me write this one. I'm gonna do this in silver. Doo -doo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spring rolls. All right, two lids. Silver is a little weak. Fill in some of these. Favorite cake, go! Pancake. Coffee cake is a good choice too. Any <laughs> cake dragging her plates like, dude, just let's make it happen. <laughs> ice cream cake, chocolate, ice cream, tres leches, tres leches. Um, pineapple upside down, chocolate mango, chocolate with Nutella, matcha. Yes. Um, hello. 
Oh, yeah, I think that we had sold, uh, signed yours a, a, a while ago, um, Murakat, but I, I hope you enjoy it when you get it. Um, all right, this one is for Liz. It is the last one we have here for uh, Zelkova Snow. Hopefully we got their message correct. Tiramisu, nice, nice. Great. Okay. Well, that is our last order, aside from the one for Trixie Cat, which who is one of our mods, so we'll be doing that off stream. Uh, other than that, I mean, that's it. <laughs> uh, we finished. That's the whole list. Uh, there is only one order left, and that is the one I just mentioned. So, I mean, unless if anyone else wants to buy one, uh, which you can immediately get sold, I will uh, prepare to close the shop. Um, there is, uh, let's see, I will be ready to do that. But yeah, you can still get one if you want to. Uh, I'm going to keep the shop open for 52 more minutes because we had said that time yesterday and I want to make sure, because someone had specifically asked, hey, when's it going to close? And I don't want to, uh, I don't want to close it early because that would be, that would be kind of jacked. So we'll, we'll chill for a while. Um, you know, we're kind of in a just chatting mood at the moment, so, um, Maybe we'll just chill. Maybe I'll play some Genshin. I haven't decided yet. Um, I feel like I should open Genshin and be prepared for that. Be prepared. Let's see. How was your day? I should have not slept so much, but I did. I mean, it's good. Probably because you know, I'll make sure that I don't get effed. Oh my god! Irie sent me a wonderful, adorable thing, and now everyone else can see it too. Uh, I have, I will have sleep. Well, I actually, my, my, uh, my. Work is late, late tomorrow, like three o'clock to like seven. So I'm good. I don't have to have a crazy sleep schedule. Um, but yeah. Um, favorite con, it, it was always San Diego Comic Con. You know, I always went to San Diego SDCC every time. Um, and that was always, I have so many great memories there. A lot of them having to do with cosplay. Running around as Spider Man was still one of my favorite con memories ever. Um, but I will say going, you know, maybe to more chill cons, I went to like Long Beach Comic Expo and Long Beach Comic Con, uh, Los Angeles Comic Con. Um, those were always really great too because I got to meet more artists and being able to just like meet artists, buy art, support artists. Like that's always my favorite thing to do when I go to cons. Like legitimately, I would just go and cosplay and just look at art. That's all I would do. I wouldn't care about going to panels because... Waiting in line for like two hours to go to a panel is not really my idea of fun at this point. <laughs> and especially like being in the industry, it's like, I love listening to these people, but I think it's more for people who are more fans. And I'm like, I am a fan, but like not to that extent. Like I want, like there's some things I just gotta see. Like being able to go to the 10 year Firefly reunion was amazing. Um absolutely amazing um so that was really cool but like that's like kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity and that doesn't really come back and that's i wouldn't like i don't need to go to the family guy panel you know like i don't dislike family guy immensely some of it's better than others i really love the early seasons but like i don't need to go to that like that's fun but whatever like that's not worth spending my half my day on what is worth it is like going to those once in a lifetime events or to, you know, going to see the wonderful artists and checking out like stuff that's coming out that I really care about. So that's a, that's a, that's a big, big factor. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, we're trying to cut a deal with Anime Impulse for me to go later this year. So I would re, I hope that we can figure that out because I really want to go to Anime Impulse like big time. I'm so excited. Uh, to be able to do that. Um, 
I have never been to Anime Expo. Um, if I was going, I would tell you. <laughs> but uh, that is... Uh, a, they, they work a little differently, so it's very unlikely that I will be able to go to um, Anime Expo, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Uh, I have not gone to meet the rest of the English cast, but I hopefully will be able to soon. Um, yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot of cons. Yeah. I mean, like I, you know, SDCC is absolutely like the biggest international con of all of them. Uh, so I'm, I'm used to big cons, but yeah, Anime Expo is huge. Yeah, that would be cool. I would love to meet Max. Like he's he's kind of a he's a veteran voice actor too. Like I I'm sure I would be able to, you know, just like <laughs> learn a lot from him. He's done some amazing work in this game. He's a great actor, and uh, it that would be cool to meet him at some point. Um, yeah, I I would love I would love to go to Anime Impulse. I've gone to Anime Impulse once when they were very small. And I think they've grown a lot since then, which is really cool, and that would be awesome. So I would love to be able to do that. Um, yeah, there is a cast party for Genshin VAs, and uh, I'll be going to that, so I would love to be able to meet people. Um, <laughs> I had the honor to work with Yuri Lil Wait, who? <laughs> or he did. I was like, wait, have I? I might, I might be in some of the same projects, but... <laughs> I don't know if I, uh, worked with him exactly. Um... You know, it, it, some of the, well, I, I guess, yeah, I, I was in the same scene as him, but I didn't get to work with him. Unfortunately, the way that a lot of VO works is, you know, we're just not there with them. So it's cool that I was, yeah, in the scenes, but I never got to speak to him. Some situations we do get to, and those are amazing when that happens. Like, I was on a little project a while back, and I got to meet, um... I got to meet, what is his name now? I need to remember because I'm a dick. Oh, um, Paul Nakauchi. Uh, uh, and he's a, an amazing voice actor. Um, he, he voices Hanzo in Overwatch. And to be able to be in the same call with him was such an amazing experience. Like, it was so freaking cool. And, like, just being able to, like, you know... And I was a little earlier in my voiceover career, so like just I was a little bit starstruck, um, and it was just in voice call because we were doing everything remote. But we got to, you know, we were all just kind of doing the same stuff, you know, like we were we were all doing Wallow that day um, for that project, and it was just really cool to be able to do that. And I was so thankful to just be in the same room and listen to him do his thing listen to the other actors do their things and um man it was it was really cool so there's always those really cool experiences when you get to meet some of your heroes and work with them um you know and obviously i'm not gonna be like i'm not gonna be oh can i get your <laughs> yeah, whatever like no you, you don't do that but like it's cool to be able to do that um i think there was at some point a long time ago oddly enough <laughs> Okay, like, don't hate me for this, but that was for, uh, have anyone's heard of the, the Christian radio series Adventures in Odyssey? Uh, it was an episode of that, and it was pretty early on, and that was like over a, that was like two years ago, almost. Um, but I, I don't hate, I actually grew up with that series, and I, it's, it's got some questionable, it's got some very Christian stuff, and it's got some like not as Christian stuff. But, like, I actually, like, I was still happy to work on the project. I don't always completely agree with everything in it. But, like, it was still one of those things, you know, that I was like, you know, I, this was really cool to work on. Um, so, um, that's what I, you know, but it, it's not really something that I think about very often or, or you know, do. But it was just cool, cool to meet some really cool people. It was a really great session. I uh, had a lot of fun. The director was great and everything so it was so cool you know you do you do it was a good it was a good gig too honestly so you know you, you do the the gigs that you you book um and it, it wasn't it wasn't uh necessarily a, an over 
overly preachy episode of, of the thing, but obviously there are some heavy Christian overtones in it. Um, yeah, I, I, honestly, I really loved the series when I was growing up. I, I won't lie, like I I liked it. Like it it was it was supposed to be about adventure and stuff. So, um, but yeah, Paul was in Squid Game. Yeah, I mean, oh, I just splashed water on my face. Um, but I, um, you know, I, now I'm starting to get on some other projects as well. Actually, I, was he? I really, you know, VeggieTales is a little all over the place. VeggieTales is like, sometimes it's very Christian and sometimes it's just not. And that's why I love VeggieTales. I will never be ashamed for saying VeggieTales is awesome. I think VeggieTales is great. Um. <laughs> Some of the most memorable stuff I have of VeggieTales was, like, it's the most, like, not Christian thing ever. Like, VeggieTales was awesome, it was really fun, and that's fine. <laughs> my personal favorite episode was, I've told this to my mods, but it was the episode where Bob, like, visits Larry, and Larry, Larry the Cucumber, is, like, just at home watching this soap opera show. And he's obsessed with it and is in love with the character and can't can't look away. And I think the idea was like, don't make TV your idols. But it was like in a really funny way. And and he would sing the song like veggie of like it was, the, the show he was watching was called Barbara Manatee. <laughs> and it was like this show about a manatee named Barbara. And it was like this soap opera or something. And he'd be like. Oh, Barbara, manatee, 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 you are the one for me. <laughs> and I don't remember the rest of the lyrics, but it was so freaking funny. I just couldn't stop. I was like, I love this. This is so freaking funny. And so, and, and it was clear that like Larry had gone off the deep end and Bob was trying to reel him back, if I remember that. But it was so funny. <laughs> I unlocked a memory. It was so funny. I will never forget that song. Like, as, uh, yeah. You came from up above. You are the one I love. Like, oh my god, it's so funny. I always thought it was so funny. I don't really remember anything else. Um, but, yeah. Alright, uh, I was gonna look something, it's gone. I was gonna look something up. And it's, oh yeah, um. Let's see. Is this it? I think this is it. Double checking. Yeah, this is it. Um. So. Trying to find. I believe that I am credited in this properly. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, um, I was very happy to be in this other series called DP. Uh, it's on. All right, see you, uh, Dalgona. Thank you so much for getting that print. Um, so, I'm in this other series. Uh, it's a Korean series called DP. It's about the demilitarized zone and like serving in Korea. Um, it's really, it's, it was pretty awesome. And, um, it's on Netflix if you want to see it. Um, but I got to play the character, uh, Jong Su. Um, and Koi is in that show. Um, Daisuke Suji is in that show. Um, Fyodor Chin is in that show. Vic Chow is in that show. Um, I don't know this other actor, but Ewan Chung is apparently also in it. Uh, and then there's a lot of other people who do um, some other roles in it. Um, this is a, hey, June's in that show, apparently. So is Jenny and Susie. <laughs> uh, Faye is in the show at some point, apparently. I don't know everyone. Um, but yeah, that uh, I'm in that show quite a bit, actually. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, it, even in this this bottom part, like, others like you also viewed Corey Yi. Who's this schmuck? What the crap else did they put me in that I, I don't know? I gotta really... I gotta really... I gotta, I gotta work on all of my, my stuff, to be honest. Like, I, I gotta make sure I am doing the thing. Um. Do, 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 This is the show. Um, yeah, this premiered last year. So I gotta add that to my, my live action dubbing list. Cause, let me just tell you guys, my live action dubbing list is getting bigger and bigger. And I'm doing a ton of live action dubbing which has been really cool it's like not the same because you don't you don't have fans like exactly of the same type for something like that compared to say Genshin or whatever but it is something that's fascinating to me because it's something that's really important you know um thinking of recording a compilation of Goro and Kazuo boss rush totally do that should absolutely do that. What's stopping you? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, there's currently no text on this page. But I don't know. I copied the exact link. <laughs> um, you know, and, and Sarah, a lot of, honestly, a lot of what I try to do, uh, and not just me, but like me and the studio and the writers, we are trying so, so, so hard to make our dialogue match up with the lips as much as possible. Um, obviously, it's never going to be perfect, but we always try to do our best because it is difficult. And there's a lot of scrutiny that, that Netflix got. You know, when Squid Game came out, people are like, oh, the English, blah, 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 etc. Um, and it's really unfortunate because we put in a lot of work to try to do our best. And, you know, people always complain about dubs. And I'll, I'll go on a tangent here. Because people complain about dubs a lot um, because of, like, um, basically, they're like, oh, well, the, the English version doesn't have the same meaning as the original. And then the, the lips aren't synced. And the acting is not as, you know, whatever. And for the first thing, like, the meaning not always being the original is because we're trying to make the lip sync. It's, we always, always try to not change the meaning too much, but sometimes there's some things that don't translate just because of cultural differences and you can't always be perfect. And trying to make the lip sync is immensely difficult with say a language like Korean. You know, if you're, if you're dubbing in Korean, or dubbing English into Korean, or the other way around, original Korean, English dub, then you're going to have a lot of O sounds with Korean. A lot of open mouth O sounds. Maybe their lips aren't going to move and articulate as much as English does because of just the, simply the way that the words are made. And we always try to do our best with that because, like, how can you, you know... How can you match that? A, you can't, but B, we you can try your best. Um, and you know, we're, we're always trying to do our best there. Um, and uh, you know, the third thing is, is just the acting. And it's like, you know, it's funny because once you understand the language, you can make more judgments on acting. But if you don't understand the language, you may not be able to tell if they're doing bad acting. Um, because you don't understand it. And I, I, I'm not really trying to preach to y'all here. It's more that we always hear those complaints. And, and it's funny because you, you, know, you listen to people who understand the language. It's like, yeah, it's not as good necessarily. You know, it may not have the same thing, same meaning that they think it does. You know, someone screaming in, in Japanese, you know, might sound realistic to some people who listen to that a lot. And it might also just sound like ridiculous anime <laughs> to others because, and like, that doesn't mean it's bad inherently, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily like right or better. It just means that it's a different take on it. And that's what I really appreciate about, appreciate about Genshin because, you know, Genshin, I think we've had some amazingly phenomenal actors. And 
you know, we, uh, I think we all put our spin on it. Um, but, you know, just the fact that the Japanese is probably the most preferred language aside from the inherently Chinese player base. But, like, in NA, I'm pretty sure that Japanese is the most played. And it's like, dude, you don't, you don't care about listening to the original. You care about listening to Japanese. Japanese is just cool. But, like, that doesn't, you know, like, and there are a bunch of famous voice actors that they have in the Japanese dub. But, like, it's not, it's just sad. <laughs> it's just sad because, obviously, there's a certain stigma within more Asian-influenced things. But it's like, dude, I don't think that the Chinese gets as much love as the Japanese in, you know, non-Chinese-speaking countries. So, that's rough, dude. <laughs> Um, it's always interesting. It's always interesting to think about people's perspectives and just there's always a weird bias that's part of it. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's um I, I think that some I think that some dubs um just do a worse job, in all, all honesty. Um I, whenever I'm doing dubbing now, I'm always fighting for making sure that we have the right meaning. And usually the engineer and the uh, director are wanting to make sure that I uh, am getting the sync right. And all of those things are equally important because you don't want to get blasted for the sync, you know? And you don't want to get blasted for the meaning. And you always are trying to bring your own life to it. And it's funny because sometimes we're doing dubs and you'll he uh, not hear a sound because of various reasons. Like, it's not just like, oh, whatever happened IRL in the original is what we're going to get. Sometimes you're going to get a shot of someone doing this. <sighs> right? Okay, very simple, right? If, if it was just as simple as <sighs> that's fine. But what if they liked what was happening in that moment, but they wanted to cut the sound in post? So you get this. So it, visually we see Right? You see the person breathing, but in the dub, you don't hear it. Or in the, the original, you don't hear it. Well, then you have to make a decision in the dub. Do you cover that or do you not? Because if you see this, you're going to think to yourself, oh, why didn't they cover that? They're so stupid. But if you're respecting the original, then you wouldn't. But if you're doing your own thing, knowing that they're not going to listen to the original, you, we're comparing it in the booth, but the people watching it are not necessarily. So all they're going to see is... So instead, we usually give them something. We go, ah, you know, and hope that that's going to be the right call for that moment. Even if creatively, the original sound designers cut it out. And so it's really interesting going into those, the dubbing mentalities and the practices and, and the theories on how to make the best dub possible. Um, because... Simply, you won't always know. Um, I also noticed that we just got an order from Tim. <laughs> uh, for a thing here. Let me pull it up and y'all can see the thing here. Tim Ayaya, who of course is one of our regulars, purchased a print. Thank you so much. <laughs> the, the immediate Jukasas. Uh, so I will pr I will sign that right now for you. Um, the <laughs> special instructions, by the way, were Biyaku. Please add appropriate doodle and text. I'm not sure what that means exactly, but I will write Biyaku on this, Tim. Do you want me to make it out to you, Tim? Do you want me to write Biyaku? Please tell me exactly what you want, because I don't want this to be... Screwed up. By the way, the spelling on it is B E E space Y A space K O O, exactly as in the clip over there. Uh, I'm pretty sure Tim is doing this to entertain the mods more than anything. Um, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just do whatever. <laughs> All right. Um. All right. Well, I've got the Lumine print right here. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Despite 
the slight troll energy. But Tim really is one of our our very much big supporters, and thank you so much for, for always being here. Um, I'm going to write in the upper left-hand corner. I will add, as you said, appropriate doodles and text. Hmm. Uh, Tim, did you want me to make it out to you, or do you want it to not say? Because you did not say that, but obviously you're here so we can, you know, do as you please. Um, you did say, I don't know, just do whatever. But that one, I feel like I, I want a specific answer for. Um, do we make it out to you or not? Either way, whatever you wish. I can't draw an Enkonomia skyline. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, Camrika, I think it's important to, to think about those things, you know, when you're doing that, you know, it, like, I mean, you know, one thing that is a great example is, you know, for, for the dubs for, um, for Genshin in particular, we don't have to carry about mouth shapes because we're just we just don't worry about it it's too much to try to do that and it's way more limiting so it's better to allow people to just do as they please in this scenario when it doesn't matter as much and it really it really works very well sus juga i cannot draw the electro lector there's no way but the sus juga is probably a good idea i feel like that's one of that's one of tim's most used I mean, we see it right now. The The evidence is here right now. <laughs> so, all right, I, I will make it out to you. And then we will, I will try to draw a sus juga with the text. Oh, that's right. He does have that framed, I forgot. That's amazing. All right, here, I'll try my best. <sighs> okay, let's let's hold on. I I need a static version. I'm I'm putting it into the mod chat so then I can see it more clearly just so I have a reference for the sus juga. Um, okay. Let's see, I'll try my, I'll try my best here. Oh. Do, 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 do. Guys, don't, don't send it up, though. <laughs> I won't be able to, actually, it's fine. I, I scrolled, so it, you can type whatever you want in there, mods. All right, um. All right, I. This is gonna be. This is gonna be tough. I ain't gonna lie. Kind of 
I screwed up. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, this. It's. It's something. It's it's something. Uh. Okay. <laughs> this is for Tim. Aya. -ya. To Tim, Biaku, and there's the sus Juga sketch. Um. Right there. I just tried my best to emulate it as much as possible. Uh, <laughs> <it's laughs> Biyaku. Uh, <laughs> and yes, this is still Chewy Melodies. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. The uh, Sus Juga is uh, on on BTTV only, um, but uh, if you would like to see it, it's also available in the Discord. Um, it is based on Sus Fox. I wanted to keep all of my standard Twitch emotes to be um, only um, Chikadayos for now, uh, just because of, you know for consistency. But yeah. Sus Fox is really funny too. You're just gonna have to see it. If you're in the Discord, you can see all those emotes. All of them are available. Um, all right, let me write the order number. Excuse me, that's a burp. And we will check that off the list. Great. Um, all right. Bam. We got 18 minutes until I'm closing the store. Oh, of course you like the Yai variant. Are we surprised? No, we are not surprised. No one was surprised that day. Um... So I think these are dry. Dry Miko. Right. 
Put the zones on the pile. And do the thing. <laughs> oh god, Lexi came running in. Um, great. Indeed. Um, last chance, 15 minutes, but yeah. Um, I really hope that I'll be able to go to some cons. I am, for those of you in the SoCal area, um, I will be going to, uh, Triton Gaming Expo at UC San Diego, uh, next week. Um, there'll be a Genshin panel on the, s on that Sunday, 3 p.m. I believe is the time. Uh, you can see the Twitter post that I did, and, um, that is free admission. Um, and also Stephanie Sutherland and Anne Yatko will be there, so very excited about that. And then I will be flying out to Jefferson City, Missouri, uh, next month, a little, uh, into the next month. And you can see there's a Twitter post about that, too, if you go through my profile a little bit. Um, I can probably find the actual link to it. Um, not Twitch, I wanted to go to Twitter. Um... I don't know how long it will take to ship, to be honest. Um, it is not really up to me. It's up to Streamly. I'm going to try to get it to them by probably within the next two days. That is my plan. Uh, oh, yeah, it is in the announcements. That's right. Um, well, here's here's the uh, here's the one for um, Cosplicon. Um, June 17th to June 19th. So can't wait to be able to see people on that side of the country. Um... I don't know if they wanted the happy birthday message. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. Megastorm said, speaking of Yai Miko, when I was at Anne's stream a few days ago, I was congratulating you and Anne for getting cast in Boruto and Retina was like, am I the only one? Of oh yeah, that's right.